The monk, Way of the Kensei, focuses their power into their weapons. I talked to Mike Merles about this new subclass appearing in Xanthar's Guide to Everything. So this is a monk who uses weapons. Uh, any monk can use weapons, but this is the monk who really specializes in them and thinks of like the sword or whatever, or whatever weapon they, they focus on as really being an integral part of their, their martial arts study. Um, this is a class concept that's been in the game since first edition. It usually bubbles up. It's usually not one of the first things that comes out with, with the revised edition of D&D, but it's usually one of the first things that does come along. Uh, so we know there's a lot of people like the idea of playing a monk but, but using a sword. Um, in Eberron, that was a very common thing. Uh, a lot of the monastic orders used weapons like the long sword or weapons you didn't normally associate in D&D with a monk. So this gives you the space to have that, that, that type of character. And the main benefit um, is this idea that you can pick a limited selection of weapons. Uh, to start with, you get one melee weapon, one ranged weapons, uh, one ranged weapon. You can't choose anything like a great axe. There is, there are some limits. Uh, I believe you can't be two-handed or heavy, if I remember correctly. Um, but the idea then is that is a weapon that you can use with your with your um, martial arts abilities. You can also channel key into the weapon uh, to gain some benefits. Uh, to um, you can. Um, basically make the weapon you're carrying a magic weapon by um, expending key. Um, you also get some defensive bonuses um, when you're using the weapon. Uh, using a weapon. Um, the idea is to kind of get across this idea that you're a little tankier, maybe, than other monks, because you're more used to just getting close, mixing it up, and kind of trading, not being focused as much on mobility as other monks, maybe, and more focused on going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, an, with an opponent. Uh, the kind of monk, the, you know, the traditional monk is sort of seen as a skirmisher. A little bit more, more like a like a rogue with a little bit more rely uh, a little bit more of an exotic uh, attack profile. You, know, you can do stunning fist and things like that, uh, depending on on the, your 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 subclass choice. So this is a monk who's a little bit more focused on damage rather than control effects, and who is a bit more focused on being a little tankier than other monks that you might see. What are some points of inspiration, like maybe in just cinema? alone for that type? Oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, so a Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which had you know the um, the characters, and it is the one fight in the, the dojo where the characters are going through all the different weapons and things like that. You know, and I think it's also just this idea that, um, you know, when D&D um, first came on the scene in the 70s, it was kind of a narrow vision of what the monk could be. It's just, just purely, almost pure unarmed fighter. Um, and that, as, you know, Asian cinema has become more common, people have seen more movies, sort of what drawing on that tradition, the idea of a monk with a sword isn't strange, right? I think it's actually probably, it's probably if you are a younger player coming into the game and seeing that a monk can't use a long sword, that might seem actually strange. Whereas if you came into it in the 70s, if you're watching Shaw Brothers movies or whatever, you might think, oh, it's weird. You would expect the monk to be unarmed or, or using, with the time, it would seem like really exotic weapons. The, um, so I think it's also in some ways Dini kind of catching up with what you know people might expect generationally to see in a martial artist style character. It's like it was one of those things where I think the uh, the concept is really people really like, and I think there's just a natural thing of you know I want to play the sword master, you know the character who is just like the way of the sword, right? Like I'm, it's not just I train with the sword or, st or study the sword, but like swordsmanship, that's my life, you know, that's my focus. So I think I think that's really what, what that appeal is, you know, that sort of. Uh, yeah, graceful sword fighter, you know, who's not wearing armor, is moving very fluidly and quickly, but delivering devastating attacks. The Monk Way of the Kensei is part of Xanathar's Guide to Everything. That book is available for purchase on dndbeyond.com, and if you click on the link in this video description, you can earn pre-order bonuses as well. I'm Todd Kenrick. Thank you for watching.